Dan had an idea uh, for a, a recognition awards dinner, and uh, somewhere that sort of bounced around in my mind. And when I became president of the union last year, a lot of things happened. I went to different meetings. I got to go to Washington, D.C. to go to the NEA meeting. I went to uh, some CTA meetings. Uh, they have special meetings for people that become presidents. Um, many different things going on in my mind. How can I make a difference? What do we need to do? What do we need to do to bring people together in this district? Um, sort of lots of different ideas swirling in my head. Um, we did do a uh, big rally in support of Prop 30. Uh, we worked together with Susan Bonilla to pull that off. And uh, Susan uh, invited me to uh, many of the many events that, that she had. And uh, so I learned about sort of how political events were put together. Um, there were many different sort of things swirling around in my mind. And I was looking at, you know, we've, teachers have been beaten down in the last 10 years with negative press, with just a lot of things going on that, that really fail to honor what we do. And we know deep down inside how much we care and how hard we work. And then you turn on the TV and there's an award show. Whether it's the Academy Awards or the Grammys or the Country Music Awards or whatever award it is, they always are awarding celebrities awards. And so um, I have this idea that we really ought to have our own award show. We really ought to honor not just teachers, but really everybody in this district. And if we honor everybody in the district, we can look around the room and look around at the energy and the positive vibe that's out there that we can work together and we can change. We can make this a great district. We do have to sometimes compromise and work together, but we really can, and I think that's the spirit of what this award show really was. Um, when we started out, it was an idea, and uh, I talked to people about the idea, and we put together um, some information. Barbara Oaks uh, on the board said, well, you need to have, you need to have a plan. So I put together a plan. And then we polished the plan. And then it was time to go out and talk to people about the plan. And I did that. I talked to the PTA. And the PTA, uh, this is the central the PTA, they all come together, all the different PTAs in the district, they have a monthly meeting. And I stood up and I sort of pitched the idea. And I saw people's eyes light up. And they said, wow, that's a great idea. It's a great idea. I pitched the idea to uh, the Medea Executive Board, and people said, wow, that's a really good idea. And then I pitched the idea to Superintendent Lawrence, and there were several other people in the room, and they said, that's a really good idea. And I didn't know where we were going to get the money to pull this off. This was like a junior prom kind of event, $20,000. And uh, so we sort of wrote it up and figured out what things would cost. And um, from going to political events um, through Tom Torlakson, I met Cindy Gershner, a remarkable person that uh, really believes in kids. And uh, she's been in the restaurant business for many, many years. And uh, I, I went out and visited her um, just about the time school was starting. And uh, she said, you know what? She said, you're taking on this big role as president, but you need to remember this. You need to find a way to bring this together. You need to find a way to make a positive difference. And then I pitched the idea to Cindy, and I'm really glad I did. Because Cindy said, oh, this is a great idea, and I'll help you. And she did. All of the servers that are helping out tonight you look around the room, they're back here. They come and they've served you. They all work with Cindy. And uh, Cindy's remarkable because she takes kids that are custom eating McDonald's.
McDonald's and Kentucky Fried Chicken and whatever fast food there is. And she's able to show them that, you know, there's good food out there and this is a food place.